Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA. And I don't know if you know our friend Fernando, but he was with us a while back with a really, really super cool twin turbo, kind of rowdy looking Chevelle, but that car was fun, man, with this almost sequential, I yeah. mean, sequential pattern. Like that car was just bitching. Oh my God. So you sold that, right? I sold it and I, I ended up picking this. Uh, has always been a dream car, 1970 Chevelle. Yeah. It took me so long to find this car because I wanted to get a numbers matching car with the build sheets. With this car, it did come with uh, the build sheet and it came with the window sticker from factory. I didn't know, and, it, and it's a numbers matching car? Numbers matching car. So it has this, um, the original block uh, with a few aftermarket parts on there. Gotcha. Okay, I, I like so the, totally the different stuff. than obviously the last car, which is a fully modified everything car. Oh much, yeah, that know? thing was pushing over a thousand to the wheels. And yeah, that car was nuts. Crazy Let's pop the hood then. Yeah. Now I'm even more curious about this. So 454 in here then? No, it's actually a, a 396 big block. It is the stock block, but it has a cam, lifters, um, just like the basic upgrades you would do to a big block. Still carbureted? Yeah, still oh, carbureted. Yeah, sure is, huh? um, I like keeping it old school. Just a few upgrades that I did was um, uh, the Holly Mid Mount kit with mm -hmm. all like the Corvette style alternator, uh -huh. uh, power steering and stuff. What does it make power wise? Do you know? I would say close to 500 horsepower. I had my buddy over at uh, Ace Customs do all like the hydro boost lines for the brakes. Uh, he did a really good job. His name's Travis. So this is your. This is the power that, steering the reservoir. That's power steering, got yeah, it. Yeah, because it has the hydro boost and it has uh, the upgraded uh, power steering pump. Nice, wow, really super clean. So it's still all the original frame, but then it looks like you've done yeah. some suspension work as well, right? Yeah, some um, upgrade. All original frame, it does have Global West, uh, lower and upper uh, tubular control arms, has uh -huh. coilovers, just the basic upgrades that you would do. And honestly, sure. uh, it rides really, really smooth. Rear suspension has the uh, upper and lower uh, arms. Uh, those are tubular as well. And it does have uh, the stock 12 bolt in the back, but it's been beefed up. Posy. Posy. Yeah. Gotta yeah. light them up. Both tires, you know? Yeah. Light them up. Super clean, definitely old school, you know, which is, We've gone so far in the world of resto mods, which I, you know, yeah. obviously I'm obsessed with, man. But it's refreshing to see like a rowdy firewall. Yeah, nothing, nothing and, crazy. Yeah, you know. But stuff to make it a better driver. I mean, you give it more power. What does it go to transmission wise? It is a TKX 600. It's a it's a five speed. Again though, so you got a nice upgrade there. Yeah, I mean, you have that overdrive for like the the highway. Yeah, that fifth totally. gear. What are you gears out in the back on the uh, 12 volt? They are 373 gears. Dude, this, so you've really made it a driver car, obviously upgrading the brakes. Oh, the brakes was a big thing for me. This thing did have uh, manual brakes. Me and my son, we actually upgraded the brakes up front and the rear. Uh -huh. Six piston up front, four in the rear, and the, uh, yeah. I believe they're the 14 inch up front. Uh -huh. and, yeah, those things stop really, really well. I'm sure, especially with the with the power assist, right? I yeah. Mean, you know, when you rolled up, dude, the first thing that stood out to me was the stance. Couldn't be more oh, on yeah. point. So what you've done suspension wise allowed you to get that. Yeah, coilovers, drop spindles in the front and the rear, just coilovers. I probably jacked the car up, took the wheels off a bunch of times just to get that perfect stance. Cause it's you know? right on point, dude. It, yeah. looks, it looks great, man. Yeah, and I had to go with the 18 inch wheels too. I like, I didn't want to go anything bigger than 18. I wanted like a nice meaty tire. And the wheel tire, what is your setup here? It's like size. And so these are Rueda wheels. Uh, it's a local guy actually around here that uh, builds these wheels. What are they called? Rueda. He builds them. He actually came out and, uh, and measured it. From end to end, you got maybe like an inch, inch and a half to play with. Yeah. But he did a really good job measuring everything, so. What are the, your sizes on here? 18s, what are you running tire-wise here? So the fronts are 18 by nine. Uh-huh. And the rears are 18 by 11. Tire sizes in the front, 265, 35, 18. 305, 35, 18 in the rear. Are, did you mini tub the back? No, no. It fits in a stock Chevelle. Yeah, they have a pretty big uh, space to work with. God, I didn't know they had that. Yeah. I mean, 305. Yeah, th yeah, 305s work perfect. They hook really, really well. Yeah. How about exhaust on it? Because that sounds yeah, every, killer when every, you come rolling in. Everybody hits me up about the exhaust. Yeah, They're yeah. Like, hey, what do you have down there? Hooker headers, full Flowmaster exhaust, all the way to the back, and it's three inches all the way. Three inch, huh? Yeah. X-piped or? Yeah, yeah. X-piped. Car sounds great, dude. Yeah. It really does. It's different than than what you usually hear. You usually hear like a Cam Del S or anything, but the big blocks have like their own sound. 
Absolutely. I, I really do like NA cars, and there's so many people nowadays, they just hate on LSs, I think just because they've seen them so I, much. I love but the it's LSs. Such a great engine, like, dude. like my old 67 twin turbo. Great turbos. engine. Like, I love that car. Either I noticed he kept the license plate, kept so the that license must plate. throw everybody off. They're like, oh, he's running exactly. an LSX in it. Everybody thinks it has an LS in it. Yeah. You know, it's just, it's yeah. just a big block. I, I, I had to keep the plate. Factory color? No, the factory color on this is a forest green, but the interior is original. It's an ivory white uh, interior. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, like you can even see it's a little cracked. Yeah. And so, but that's cool because yeah. like it's so easy to get repops and it looks like exactly. a brand new interior, which is super cool. But that it's the OG interior on here. Yeah, dude. Right no, away. Everything you're... on here is original. Um, you got the five-speed on there. It, it was uh, an automatic car. Previous owner did the, the conversion to go to nice. manual, and I'm super glad he did. I mean, 100. percent Nothing against automatic, but come on. Yeah, because it originally came with what a turbo 400 three speed, 65 miles an hour. You'd be at 3500 3, RPM. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. totally, dude. So yeah. with that five speed, I'm like at 1800, at like it, 70. This is really fun, dude. I gotta admit, I, I I guess because of your last car, yeah, I was expecting this to be more modified because when I've seen pictures oh, of yeah. it, the stance and stuff. Not saying you haven't modified it, but just grabbing this steering wheel alone, like I remember driving these when I was a kid, <laughs> you know, like buddies of mine that had Chevelles. And I am working on it little by little. Like me and my son, we're gonna keep this car, build it up, and um, yeah. I do have something coming up for it. So, keep so we an might eye have out. to do a reshoot yeah, on it. New motor, it's gonna be crazy. So, it's oh, gonna okay. be a secret what I'm going with. So, Ooh, I love secret plans. That's not still stock, no. Bluetooth, had to put a sound system, and I did put the Dakota digital gauges. Are, you're one of those guys that keeps the plastic on? I just put it on, that's why. All, all this stuff is pretty recent. What, doesn't that drive you crazy when people leave the plastic <laughs> on stuff where you know it needs to come off? I like to leave it on. Do you leave it on? Yeah, I leave it on. I keep it fresh. Do bro. you really? Yeah. No wonder we don't get along, man. I don't even understand <laughs> that. Get the gauges on this thing. Up, that, just, that just makes no friggin' sense at well, you all. Keep it fresh, huh? No, you don't. That looks like crap. Sorry, Fernando. I like your car, dude. That looks like crap, though. Like I, I can't tell you how much I'm dying Leave to peel off, that off right now. Peel it's it driving off. me nuts. Peel it off. Oh, oh this is going to be so satisfying. Chris, are you happy right now, dude? It's so satisfying. Ooh. Oh. Tell me that's not a oh, light years. But look at it. Now it looks right. It looks new and it looks cool. And this just, ratty piece of shit plastic's now gone. I just totally forgot I had it on there. Seriously. I had to go with the uh, the Dakota Digital, the RTX gauges. It, it just it looks I mean dude, It gives it that modern touch, you know? You know, I mean you still retain what the car once was. More and more I find myself pulled to that, really. That's a perfect upgrade in my opinion. Yeah. I just heard a boom when I turned that oh, off. Do yeah. you have audio in here? Yeah, just a little sub on there. Just a little sub. Yeah, no, nothing crazy. Dude, this is really bitching, man. I'm it's refreshing seeing classic cars still being classic cars with yeah. all the proper upgrades. So you don't need to replace a perfectly good chassis. These are great. You're oh not, no, you yeah. Know, I mean, you start putting a thousand horsepower to it, you might want to be doing some boxing and stuff oh, like definitely. that, right? Aftermarket frame yeah, or whatever. Yeah, Dude. it's super, super cool. I, I love it. Uh, my wife enjoys it. On Saturdays, I take my son out to get coffee in this thing. He just freaking has a blast in this thing. That's awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Well, let's go drive it. And we'll, yeah, uh, let's go. We'll see what it's all about, man. Cool, cool. Hey, guys, I'm super excited to announce that we have a brand new collection coming out. We're calling this one The Player. New shirt, new hat. This might be my favorite design we've come up with yet. It's dropping on September 17th, so let's jump into today's episode. seconds of driving the car you can already tell just the difference that it does to to do suspension work right? oil over setup yeah i mean you right, can feel away. It right away nothing screams muscle car in my opinion more 
than 70 to 72 Chevelle. Oh yeah. This body style, I know there's subtle changes, but like even the 69, I like it, I understand, but, but I like the 70 body better. Oh yeah. Dude, it just screams no. muscle car more than any other car in my opinion. personal opinion just a few minutes of driving it there's elements where you can like suspension you can feel the upgraded elements yeah steering you can still feel a bit of classic to it yes there's a little play in the wheel you know it's not super articulate yeah. that's what I'm working on now I already upgraded like the power steering the control the control arms and all that stuff now all I need to upgrade is just the, the steering box maybe get like a tighter quick ratio yeah. one yeah. And I think I'm set with that one. Sure. It'll tighten it up. My my preferences are changing on custom builds lately. I'm finding myself more and more enjoying. Like sitting in here, dude, I know I'm in a Chevelle. Even though it's a better looking gauge, it's all where it was when I was a yeah. kid, you know? The seats, the door panels, the dash, everything about here. And I love the crazy opulent interiors, but I don't know. Lately, I'm finding myself like, ah, let's upgrade the ship that needs to be upgraded so you get rid of all the antiquated, Yeah. you know, that makes it not as much fun to drive. This thing's a blast to drive. I'm sure on the freeway, you're oh, rolling yeah. 70, 80 miles an hour, not even thinking about it. When they're 2,000 RPMs, that fifth gear really makes it different. Sure. I mean, I'm going to leave it to you. You guys know the way I drive. I always drive other people's cars pretty chill. I oh, can get on in a bit. I will. I'll let them catch up and then get a little. Dude, that's plenty to have a good time, man. Yeah, huh? That's plenty to have fun. But I can't get over how nicely it handles. I mean, the car feels, I mean, dude, this car just right? feels great. It really does. Getting a thumbs up from the van guy. I bet you get a lot of thumbs ups on this yeah. car, you? piss out of me <laughs> and I know a lot of you guys that watch right now are going oh man that thing needs another thousand la 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 <laughs> and you've just heard Fernando talk about it how he actually wants to give it more power but can't tell me that ain't fun power right yeah. there bro that's fun power to me
one more. He's not happy with his burnout. Oh. to me is just a super cool Chevelle. I mean, nothing says muscle car more to me than a 70 to 72 Chevelle. This one with the big block in it, rumbling down the road, rowing gears. And yeah, Fernando's gonna add more power because, well, he can't help himself is the reality of this thing. So that's it for today, you guys. I wanna also throw out, I know we've mentioned it and I'm gonna keep mentioning it. We got a new shirt and hat coming out, September 17th, atlamerch.com. If you like what we're doing, go buy it because it helps us out a lot. And with that, I'll say it later. Bye.